Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you something simple. Uh, it's all about menus and I see I know you when you have uh, used uh, other softwares like uh, Microsoft Windows or something like that, uh, you always encounter menus in most of your applications. So I'll show you how you can add menu items, how you can create a menu bar and uh, add menu items into it and when you just select that you can how you can now uh, set uh, action events to this menu item so that when you just do like uh, you can see when I click this menu item add user it just uh, it allows me uh, what type of menu item I've selected so I'll show you how to do this uh, in JavaFX so that uh, you can uh, now manipulate it and use it to whatever application you want to create so simple I'll uh, go direct to the point and uh, uh, I'll go direct to NetBeans so file I'll create a new project JavaFX JavaFX FXML application. Select next. Then uh, I'll type in the name of my project and I'll say call it just a menu. Uh, menu. And then finish. Uh, after doing that, now uh, come I expand this. So in this FXML file, I'll open it uh, so that we can. Uh, we can design the interface in the scene builder. So that's simple. Uh, it lock, it uh, opens in the scene builder. And as usual, we are given a button and a label. So let us select the button and the label and uh, delete them. So select the uncapping again. Resize it. Uh, something like that. But we don't want to be. Uh, very tall uh, because the edge should be so big because just a simple application. So now we will need a VBOX. Uh, a VBOX. Uh, fit it to the parent. Uh, come to the alignment here. Align it to the top center. And again, after doing that, now come here and uh, uh, type in menu bar. Menu bar. Drag and drop it into the VBOX and then after doing that now uh, drop this uh, drop, uh, expand this menu bar and the inside this file now you can uh, add some menu items you can see the main menu items so the first one I'll just uh, rename it and say uh, add book maybe it's a menu bar uh, for a library management system whereas you'll be adding books uh, and then uh, uh, I'll duplicate this and uh, uh, you'll be adding users That simple and then now come here and uh, maybe here you'll be uh, deleting books so deleting delete book or maybe delete book so doing that now come to the help here and uh, just leave it that way so I'll show you how you can do this and then now we need a uh, something like a screen where we'll be, we'll, it will be alerting us what, the, what is the menu item that has been selected so I'll type in the text field here. Uh, the purpose of doing this is to help us understand more about many items. So we need a screen. So let me expand this screen. Something like that. Uh, set it not to be editable. Uh, make sure it's not editable. And then make sure it is more transparent. So after doing that now, cut to the layer. Uh, put a margin of 20 to all sides so uh, that's it about our uh, 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 interface uh, now it's time to give uh, IDs or uh, actual events so for many items you'll be giving it actual events no need for one ID unless you want to disable one of them but I'll show you that on another note but first of all let us give this ad book an event so we'll be say in display like let us say add book uh, the name of our method will be add book and then this one uh, it will be add user and then now here delete book this many item delete book I'll give it delete book so that can be can recall it easily and then here I'll just give it an ID about then first come to this text field and then 
uh, here we will give an idea, unlike the other, we have been uh, typing in the methods. So, uh, uh, screen and the save the FXML file. Now come to the FXML, right click it and make the controller. So, uh, we don't need this label anymore, and uh, uh, also we, we don't need this. Uh, so, uh, the first method uh, in the second will be uh, displaying some message here that uh, you have selected which type of menu item and uh, we'll type in the message here and uh, say you so if someone select this uh, menu item you will be saying you have selected uh, the so the add book menu item so that's it. Uh, when you do that, uh, you just copy this. Uh, I'll just copy it and paste it. Uh, don't worry about that. Don't have to waste a lot of time uh, typing the same information. And then, about, you have selected the about, just be saying the about many item. Here, you will be sele you have selected the uh, delete. Book item and then uh, selected the add user. The add user menu item. So once you do that now, uh, you can build your application. So run your file. And here we go. So let us select energy, and uh, you can see uh, now we can submit values just from the menu item. So I think I've shown you how you can get this menu bar to the same builder. And then now how we can uh, get the values or get the selected item. And now we can now run actions just from the menu item. When you select this add book, uh, uh, this method uh, happens. So if you have anything that you want, or maybe there's a window, you have a code uh, to open some window uh, that you want to put when someone selects something, you'll be placing it here, where we have placed this message, uh, the, the screen code, uh, the, message, the code that uh, gave us this message. So that was it about menu items. So nothing much about the menu items. So this is how you can create menu items, how you can give it uh, some methods, and now how you can uh, uh, put some codes even in those methods and uh, to do some uh, set of actions. So that was it about menu items, menu bar, menu bar. So that was a menu bar, uh, a menu and a menu item. So you can add uh, a menu inside uh, uh, a, menu, uh, a menu and then uh, so you can add menu inside a menu and then menu items inside the all both menus that you uh, are inside each other. So. Uh, that was it about the Java FX and, and FXML uh, menu, menu bar and uh, menu items. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you got assisted uh, uh, on how you can create menu bars in Java FX. So thank you for watching this video.